I love solid Christian R&B. Like we don't talk about it enough. Like it's necessary. It is so necessary. It is so necessary. I for one, I love as much as I love like Atasha Cobbs or like my CCM people or whoever you know you want to call in that space. It's like I need regular music I can listen to. I don't want to listen to Tasha Cobbs all day. Love her. Amazing. Gift from God. Spectacular. But it's like I need my Jordan Armstrongs. I need my my Jordies and my 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 Tatianas and, and, and my other my Alex Jeans and my Ryan O'Fays. And I need my Madison Ryan Wards. You know, which is a really good Jasmine Sullivan alternative for me. Cause certain some of Jasmine's music I can't do, but I love Jasmine. Ugh, I love Jasmine, but that's a whole tangent. But it's just like I need we need versatility. We need versatility in this Christian space. Like we we need to hear good music that's not going to corrupt us, corrode us, pollute us, our thinking, or open ourselves up to different spirits and different agendas. Because so everybody producing these music and these hits, they have a different agenda at work. And it's like, I don't want to be listening to stuff and be subjecting myself to spiritual warfare. Like, I don't want to do that, especially with all this toxic culture and stuff. I don't want to partner with none of that. I want to just chill. I want to have a good time. I want to vibe. I want to do some of the runs. I want to enjoy myself. So having and finding artists such as these, it makes all the difference, you guys. It makes all the difference because Christian R&B is important. It's not that we're trying to, it's not that you're trying to be or like pull or cheat in that way of like, you know, ripping it off from the R&B culture or whatever that you may, you, may, you may think. It's not, it's not about that. It's about creating good godly music that we as believers can listen to without subjecting ourselves to the craziness. You know what I'm saying? It's like you trying to shower but you know, there is dirty water coming in every every so often. It's like, what are we doing? It's like, I was good until this part. Or like, you know, when we got shows and you're doing good and every show now, especially movies and things, they're inserting all these crazy sex scenes. And you're like, my eye gates, I'm trying to guard my eyes and, and protect my spirit. Cause the, what does the Bible say? Guard your heart with all diligence. I'm trying to guard my heart and listen and still have a good time, but it's not a lot to work with. So when we see these Christian alternatives where I can guard my heart and I could let my guard down and just have fun, it is so beautiful and so spectacular and phenomenal to witness and experience. So that's all I got to say, people.